Okay, I liked the quarry trail so much the other day that I'm gonna come back and do it again. Starting earlier, so this time I can hit the swimming hole. And I'm about to try out my pea style. So, <laughs> don't expect a demo, but I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, so as promised, I'm gonna give you a review on the pea style. It's this funnel looking thing. And it works great. Um, but I gotta tell you, having to face and stare down into that thing was not fun. It comes in its own little pouch. Um, and I'm also gonna put my little bidet thingy in there too. I haven't used that yet, so I don't know what that's like. Um, so, and I keep a little cloth to use to wipe when I don't have a lot of toilet paper. Um, I didn't use that now because I needed to go and it was on my pack. So um, I just put fresh toilet paper in here each time and then slide it into the pouch. And people can talk, hear me talking in the porta potty. So I'm gonna go now. It's a little weird. So by the way, I also put my um, trowel my deuce in there too so it holds the pea style and the toilet paper and the bidet and the trowel all in that one little case plus there's my cloth that is supposedly waterproof on one side and soft on the other so um and then that just carries on your pack in the sun sterilizes it I guess so it's an okay system so far I still have it dangling on this cord that I haven't figured out what it goes to yet but I'll figure out a better solution at some point also today I switched out my water bottles for huh, can't even see them I don't know if that's good if you can't see them how can you grab them I've got four smart water bottles on my pack today. It's a little bit heavier than the regular water bottles, but at this point, I'm just starting what will be probably 14 miles today. Um, so I don't really feel them yet, but I'm sure I will. I also brought my InReach Mini, um, but it doesn't seem to have a clip on it. Do they come with a clip? I've just got it tucked into my pocket of my tights since I don't see a clip. I'll ask my husband. Maybe there's one somewhere else. Um, yeah. Speaking of tights, these are my hiking tights and they're more like pants than tights, I guess. They've got fantastic pockets on each side. Got them from REI, they're about 70 bucks, and I love them, love them. Lots of room for stuff and very comfortable. Dirty girl gaiters on, so I can feel my feet a little bit more today, and I'm just starting. So, I'm carrying more water weight probably double what I was carrying and I didn't do yoga this morning I was trying to get out here a little bit earlier so I could get down to the swimming hole so we'll see how it goes and I just hiked 12 miles a couple of days ago which was the longest for me so far and this training I took a day off to um, not overdo it. And I know to most of you, 12 is nothing. So, but I'm just still trying to gradually work up. I liked my cold soak oatmeal so much the other day that I brought it again today for my breakfast on the trail. Mm, it's 
been even cold. Who knew? So I just stopped to take a break and realized somewhere along the line my pad fell off. <sighs> Crap. I am so bummed that my pad fell off that I might seriously turn around here and go back to find it. And I really wanted to see that swimming hole today. I'm only four miles in. I know that's nothing, but it has felt hard. <sighs> Man, I don't know how y'all do it. All right, well, I think I've made a decision. Dang it. I'm gonna go back and look for my pad because that's good money. I got it on sale at REI, I think. And I don't think they're super expensive, but I don't remember it being totally cheap either. And it's new and it's mine. So, I guess I'll see that swimming hole another day. It'll still be an eight mile day, which is good. Hmm. Best laid plans. So honestly, I'm only six miles in, or right back out. Two miles to go. I just, losing my pad, lost my mojo. And I can't be like that on the PCT. You can't let setbacks get you down. Mental strength. So, trying to remember that. And oh good, I have an uphill just ahead. <laughs> Grr. I don't normally listen to music or anything, at least on the first half. And then when I know that I'm on the flip side, maybe I'll put on music or a podcast. Today I was just feeling so defeated about changing my plan that I put them in just as soon as I turned around to head back. And Trail Tales, you got me through. <laughs> just listening to Skateboard Dude talk about his trip through the Florida Trail and learn a little bit more about the PCT. Kind of took my mind off of today's mess up. So, thanks. I'm hoping when I round this bend and see that porta potty, that my sleeping pad is going to be sitting right there waiting for me. Wish me luck. Well, hallelujah. What do we have here? <sighs> that looks like somebody placed it there. I must have found it on trail. Thank you, whoever you are.